next presentation is laparoscopic percutaneous extraperitoneal closure for pediatric inguinal hernia is more beneficial in male patients. Presented by Hiromi Miyaki. Good morning, everyone. I have, I have nothing to disclose. Recently, LPEC procedure for pediatric inguinal hernia has been more popular. The aim of this study was to compare LPEC with traditional open repair for each sex. This study included 617 male and 433 female patients who underwent open repair, and 561 male and 456 female patients who underwent LPEG. There was no significant difference between LPEG and open repair in age, body weight, and preoperative laterality of hernia in each sex. In the present study, Operative time was significantly shorter with LPEC than open repair for both unilateral and bilateral inguinal hernia in each sex. However, mean anesthesia time for female unilateral hernia was significantly shorter in open repair. Frequency of postoperative contralateral metacronous inguinal hernia was significantly higher in open method in each sex. In LPEG, when uh, asymptomatic contralateral patent, uh, patent process of vaginalis was confirmed, prophylactic surgery was performed. This is the reason of this difference. There was no significant difference in frequency of post-operative recurrence in each sex. Two patients showed post-operative testicular atrophy and two displayed iatrogenic postoperative ascending testes in open repair, while no postoperative testicular complication was seen in LPEG. While operative time was significantly shorter in LPEG, anesthesia time for female unilateral hernia was shorter in open. This may have been because pneumoperitoneum was needed in LPEG. When Pneumoperitoneum was performed, deeper sedation was needed. Therefore, LPEC required a longer postoperative recovery. In male patients, testicular complication was seen only in open repair. These results suggest, although LPEC seems to be the standard operation for pediatric inguinal hernia in both sexes, LPEC is more beneficial in male patients. Thank you. Do we have any questions from the audience? Just a poll. How many um, pediatric surgeons are doing this as their primary choice of repair for inguinal hernia? Of those of you who are not doing this as your primary approach, what is your main concern? Is it recurrence rate by show of hands? or is it injury to the cord structures by show of hands? Okay, do you have a question in the back? Yeah, it's a nice presentation. Uh, did you look at the incidence of contralateral patent process vaginalis in your male versus female patients? Uh, in, in our study, uh, uh, in LPEG, about 40% of, of clinically unilateral inguinal hernia uh, was confirmed on the lateral process of vaginalis, and 0.3% uh, of metacross uh, contralateral inguinal hernia was confirmed and, uh, in LPEG, and open, in open repair, about 6% of metacross contralateral inguinal hernia was confirmed. Because in our experience, the incidence of contralateral PPV on laparoscopy is more than 50% for females presenting with a unilateral inguinal hernia. So that is probably the main advantage in girls of putting in laparoscopy.
microscope and looking for the condylarthrin. 